Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Chaputi Jams, or Chaputi Jams depending on who you are. I'm Woki and I'm here with Zenra. Hello everybody. Hello, and we're here to talk about everyone's favorite uh, Shonen Jump gotcha, Chimpoody Jams. Uh, Chimpoody Jams, Chimpoody Heroes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I get confused. You have no idea how much times I've accidentally almost called Chimpoody Heroes, Chimpoody Jams, and Chimpoody Jams, Chimpoody Heroes. Same thing. It's pretty interchangeable. That's how good you know the title of this uh, video is. But also, yes, I think we are the only ones. Though I think uh, OCHD does do videos, but I don't think they do this style of podcasting type video they do actual informative stuff <laughs> informative video things not to say we're not informative but this isn't a competition zen we can all exist in this a beautiful ecosystem that we got well here. i meant this i meant this is the only shonen jump uh, uh game not content creator for it oh no you're right we this is the only shonen jump game we don't consider the console one and the other gotchas died on the way here uh, let me see. Oh, I got so distracted. Sorry, there's a beeping going on outside, and it's really distracting me. So that's my bad on this one. But anyway, it's time for the... It's currently going on the 3.5 year anniversary for Jumpooty Heroes. That means that there's just a boatload of shit to go through, right, Zen? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we're going to try and cover as much of it as possible... Let's start off with the actual anniversary going on. And I should mention now, because I think we should mention it, because we're not going to be able to mention it by the end. I have read World Trigger. It's very good. <laughs> so now all of us, all people here, me and Zen, have both read World Trigger due to Jumpity Heroes. That, yeah, we've both read World Trigger now. It's funny how that kind of worked out. Uh, so yeah, the 3.5 year, year anniversary, it started on the 28th, like two days ago from when we recorded this. All right, so here's some stuff that's going to kind of go on. They're doing some website rewards, which gives you, like, it's on OCHD, so you can, as always, go to there to check out specifically. But if you basically click on this link that they got here, you'll get a free 10 summon with guaranteed one limited in it. And they're all also five stars in it. Really damn good. Which limited did you get when you did it? I did. I got Endeavor. Who did you get? Uh, Kenshiro. Man, not bad. I, 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 I did a video on it, and you can see my live reaction, because I didn't know that it was a limited guaranteed. So I just went like, what the fuck? <laughs> Extremely loud. Because <laughs> I was not expecting Endeavor to just show up I'm there. not going to lie. I wanted uh, someone else. Even though Kenshiro is like, super good and an amazing dupe to get, I really wanted to get um, fucking Ryoma. <laughs> from the prince of tennis so bad <laughs> no I, I can understand that uh lucky for me endeavor is from a series i like and i like endeavor himself so it was pretty okay i kind of don't like that i got another red limited though <laughs> well, endeavor's would... really good though he's really good oh you already had him didn't you no i didn't have him at all i just had a bunch of oh, other oh, red I, limiteds. I must have seen that screenshot after you yeah I yeah um i probably would have wanted was princess shirahoshi on that I don't know if she was on that, but she uh, is super good. <laughs> yeah, if, if she was, I would have either wanted her or Bobo uh, Bobo Patch. Bobo I, Patch Nosuke. Yeah, or as he's known in English, Bobo Patch Jiggler, because his a jelly. His name is Jelly Jiggler in English, and not um, something in Nosuke and the, the what it is in Japanese. It's uh, wait, Bobo Patch Nosuke's name is Jelly Jiggler. Well, the 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 because um um because that fusion is of three. It's of Don Patch, Boba Bo, and Jelly Jiggler. There's a character called Jelly Jiggler. Oh. And in Japan, they don't call him Jelly Jiggler. They call him. I can actually look up his name here because I have the full on breath of it. Um. Come on, where's the, where's the bees? They call him. Takoro Tenenosuke. He has an actual ass name in the <laughs> Japanese manga, um, but they call him <laughs> Jelly Jiggler. So instead of calling him Bobo Patch Onosuke, which is the fusion of all of them, they call him Bobo Patch Jiggler. <laughs> so they just take the last Bobo name. Bobo Patch Jiggler. 
Oh man, Bobo is so good. But I would have really liked him because I like Bobo. Bo. Um, but I'm I'm perfectly happy with that, and I'm I'll gladly take a free limited whatever I can get it. Right. Yeah, hard to complain about that. Yeah, for sure. Though getting a dupe limited does, is a little bit like, oh man, you kind of do wish it wasn't a dupe, even if it is a good pull. Yeah, that's the thing, because like it's a, it's not only is it a dupe, it's an awesome dupe, but specifically in Shonen Jump games, I'm like, I really just want every character. Yeah, yeah, I definitely have that feeling for this too. Uh, another reward they got here is it's like you got to vote for the most wanted limited character and the most votes actually gets a special gotcha in december who did you end up voting for i have not voted yet oh my god let me go to the website right now and vote on air yeah you can vote on any <laughs> one of them um oh, all I had to, of them like everyone ever i think it's every single everything but the musos you can pick but every about, single one like, of them the ones that are out right now like uh like jotaro and law I, I actually don't think Jotaro is on there, but you can check. Let me actually double check to see if he's on here. It would be funny if they're just like, do you want to see Law and Jotaro in the background? <laughs> no, I think it's not some... Some of them are missing now that I look at it. Um, but they, they did have Princess Shirohoshi on it. This website to vote for your most wanted limited. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to be a dick and vote for one that sucks. I'm going to vote for like Visor to go. <laughs> Oh why? Oh, you know he's not he's gonna win. Cool. Yeah, he's oh. no. Oh, this isn't. Oh wait, it's divided up by color. I was about to say yeah. this list isn't that long, but it's divided up by color. Um, I might vote for. Hmm, this is tough. I really want uh Kurama Chakra Naruto, but he's coming out soon for the Naruto birthday banner. Mm. I'm gonna do Kaioken Goku. Is Kaioken Goku bad? No, he's really good. Okay, I wasn't sure if you were picking for bad again. I was really confused. No, 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 no. He's he's really good. Okay. He's yeah. um he's the green unit that when you attack with like when you ult with him, he raises the attack power of all other greens. Ooh. They all have one like that. It's like um Yukata Sasuke, Kaioken Goku, um Kenshiro, and who the fuck is the one for blue? Boba Pachinoski, I think. Okay. Nice. Um, yeah, I think for mine, I ended up voting for Princess Shirahoshi because I'm really salty that I missed out on her, that I started like a month after she released. Um, so I ended up voting for her. I don't know if she has a chance of winning. I have a feeling it's going to be someone from Demon Slayer. Cause I f Probably. <laughs> it's going to be uh, um, Nezuko and Tanjiro, chances are. Because it's the only one that has um, big adult Nezuko by herself. Kitty Nezuko, as as we call her. Yes, exactly. Which is the which is why I almost voted for her <laughs> when I saw it, but I ended up going for uh, Princess Shirohoshi. Because technically, if you consider the fact that she's like kaiju size, you get more out of the deal, so it ends up working That's out better. That's true. Yeah, it's a it's like a per pound thing. Exactly. It has to at least weigh as much as a small town or house. <laughs> I think it's very important to factor this in when you're picking a woman's end. <laughs> uh, but yeah, doing that will give you a uh, character select gotcha ticket and then a 10 character multi-ticket from what they're doing now, I think. Oh no, I think this is that will include one limited from a select pool. Oh, Wait, after voting, you will receive a ticket for this December selection gotcha and a 10-character multi-ticket that will include one limited for a, from a select pool. Was this already something you did? The... What now? No, no. I thought that was the vote, right? Yeah, never mind. I think, either way, you should be good. <laughs> you should actually <laughs> know what the reward is because you got it now. What did you get? Uh, for doing the vote, you get um, some tickets. I think it's like percent, ten percent, five star tickets. It's not okay. that much. All right. It's still better than nothing. Yeah, I mean, it's not like bad, but no. it's not like oh my god, you get a guaranteed limited selection ticket. No, that'd be kind of insane if it was. You, there uh, are some you can buy up right now, but I, I don't like spending eighty dollars on one unit. No, no, that's fair enough. 
Even though, technically speaking, that'd probably be less than if you bought the actual it, that, That's true, that's definitely true, but at the same time, I'm like, nah. No, I'm asking all up front, though. <laughs> oh, you get so, a ticket for the, whatever the December selection gotcha is. Oh, wait, shit. What? <laughs> you do get a limited ticket for doing it, I'm just a big dumbo. Did I you didn't do use it? the ticket yet. <laughs> How do you use that ticket? Uh, not I... the December one, right? No. Because I'm, I'm looking at it on um, OCHD. Yeah. And it's uh, it says you get a limited ticket. It does say you get a limited ticket, but I remember when I was doing it. Oh, on... oh, oh, oh. Never mind. It, I, I understand the confusion. What was the confusion here? Um, there's two links on the OCHD post, and the bottom one just gives you the rewards from the vote automatically without having to vote. Got you. Okay. Finally, I understand here. Now we can all <laughs> move forward now. Um, also, during this anniversary, there's like Jampudi Love tickets that will let you summon from a banner. Uh, you can get up to 55 of them, but you can get more through login bonuses and some other stuff, which is pretty nice. Yeah, I like free pulling. Like yeah, it's just a shit ton of free summons. Yeah. Um, I'm always about that. If you log in every day for a set period of time, you will get a total of 700 rupees. Very nice. Uh, there's a special daily mission, clear five adventures, get 50 stamina, which you will need a lot if you are going to grind everything. Yes, the, there's a million events, dude. That's the one thing about this game, is like you do not have enough stamina no, to get never. through this shit without refilling. And they did recently a stamina event, and I thought that, that was just going to keep forever. It did not. It did not actually keep forever, so I actually started no, wondering well, what was the it point does of not, this. Yeah. I can only have up to ninety nine. Why? Why would you torture me this way? Um, love medals um, is something that you can earn. You can get Jum Pudi love certificates. I wonder why this is so love focused. Because uh, you love Jum Pudi for because we played it for three and a half years, despite actually only playing it for a couple months. It's true. I do love it though. I do um, still love it. If you collect all 41 love medals, you can unlock the MVP emblem, which will unlock a special final reward. So here are the which missions. Is some kind of ticket, right? What's the, what's the ticket for? That's what I'm trying to find out here. Uh, I don't know. Oh, it's for, it's for this gotcha. Okay, got you. Which uh, but the, looks like it has, it has Majin Vegeta, Zenitsu, and Gear 2 Luffy on it. So I guess it's just like a, a limited ticket. Hmm, okay. Oh, yeah, right here. 3.5 anniversary limited ticket can be used to summon on the gacha one time. Guarantees one random limited from a select pool. So definitely do the missions because it's a free limited if you do them. Yes, and here are the missions. This is actually the... the they're pretty easy except for near the end where it gets a little bit tough. But it's basically like... Uh, clear the best pooter awards, which just sounds it's a very funny name. Obtain Koka, obtain Masaki Kurosaki, and get them all to um, level 99 and max luck. Um, obtain the young Shinobi, Shinobu, uh, young Vangola, uh, Sunaho, Sunigoshi Sawada, uh, or Suna, as most people call him, Kurasan, Kosaki Kujiro, uh, Karura, and also there's a thing... Kosaku Kujiro? Did you even read that? No, you know for a fact I didn't read it. It's the Kosaku Kawajiri. My bad. Okay, <laughs> Mr. Correcting Me on Fucking Everything. <laughs> Sorry, it's just, come on, man, you can't, you're going to mispronounce the main villain of Diamond is Unbreakable's name wrong? Oh, Handman! You should have just said yeah, it's that Kira. Yeah, bro, it's, it's when he changes bodies. I completely fucking forgot. I just call him Kira, Kira no matter what. Yeah, well, I call him Kira, too, but for some reason in games, he's always called Kosaku Kawajiri, even though it's still just Kira. Funny. Um, the Karura, the Karura? Do you, how do you pronounce that, Zen? My master of... Karura, uh, I guess? The Karura. legend summon and get that to level ten, and then also obtain red tokens, green tokens, and blue tokens, up to three thousand five hundred, which is pretty easy. All that is pretty easy up until this final thing, which is get any character to limit break twenty one, twenty three, twenty five, twenty seven, and thirty. Which uh, I guess they just expanded. Yes, because limit did. break stopped at twenty before. I have some mm -hmm. characters at twenty, thank God, but. The, now, can you do free characters on that? You probably I, can, I, right? I, I think you can, so I think I'm going to have enough. The problem here is that they require a lot of rupees. Then. Not rupees, oh, a no, lot of money. Rupees to, to level up past 21? They, they, they're not rupees, they need uh, money. The money. Oh, oh, gold. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, it sucks. Gold. 
So thankfully there is a stage currently out that helps with the gold, but what chances are what I'm going to do is that I'm going to wait for um, Shinobu, um, because I like Shinobu, and this is a Shinobu, even though it is not the, the, the adult form, which is the one I like, but it's still it's still one of her it's still technically her because even if she's young so i'll gladly try and get her to 30 so it's gonna probably take a long time and this is actually kind of a pain in the butt if for someone like me who does not have a lot of gold um is that actually also getting some of these characters to max luck is also kind of a pain in the butt but at least it looks like you have a lot of time to actually do it so you should be able to do it as long as you're on top of it but man it's a lot to ask it's a lot to ask to do something. Yeah, it really is. But worth it for a limited. You have to actually work hard for this limited. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it's a lot to do. But the fact that you're getting, like, a good a good gacha unit. And the units on the image for it aren't, like, bad either. Like, High Dio is on there. Yeah. Who's crazy I, good. He's crazy good. Yeah, for sure. All right. It's not a selection, so, I mean, you could still get screwed over. But even if you get a bad one, that's a limited that you got for a fucking free. Yeah still free limited so it's not too bad now let's actually start talking about some of the units that are in here i mentioned them a little bit here um koka from jintama which i believe is the mother of kagura who is from jintama if i'm remembering that right based off of her look and when i asked a friend he i think he said that's her mom and it kind of makes sense because they all use fans and i think that's her mom so <laughs> i'm gonna go with that's her mom okay <laughs> i'll follow um, that me and you are also on the same boat here in that we don't really have never watched or read Gintama. No, I've never read Gintama, and I, I'm very scared now that this is going to just become the next World Trigger, and we're going to talk about it today, and then we're going to end up reading it. Well, here's the thing. The, the, my friend, who is a big fan of Gintama, has so shown me clips from it, and it's really funny. The problem is, is that every time I've ever asked, hey, can I just read the manga for it? He immediately goes, no. It's better to just watch the anime. And I feel like it's the one case where it feels like the vast majority of people are saying, the manga is good, but you actually just want to actually read the, uh, uh, watch the anime for it. And the anime is like 700 episodes. <laughs> Probably not that much, but it is a lot of episodes to ask someone to just watch at 22 minute chunks at a time. So yeah, been... so my thing with watching long anime like that is, like, if I'm reading it, I can read however much I want at my own pace. Yeah. Which is also why I like reading, for the most part. Um, but it seems like there's enough differences between them where it feels like, oh, no, the anime is kind of the way to go. And based off the clips I've seen from the show, it is very funny, and I would probably enjoy it a whole bunch, but actually sitting down to watch it all is kind of a, a lot Yeah, it's, it's hard to just... Book out time to sit down and watch an anime for, like, hours, you know? Yeah, especially one that also isn't dubbed. So you have to also read it along with watching it the everything. Whole time. Yeah. I feel like if it was dubbed, it'd be a little bit easier. Kind of like how I watch Digimon, where it's like, I don't... Sometimes I need to see the screen, but sometimes when they're just talking, I don't need to see the screen. So it's kind of like one of those kind of cases, but... This character looks cool, and she's free, so you can just kind of farm her up, no problem. And next we got Suna from Hitman uh, Reborn. I think this is from an early Suna. I can't tell from this page, but it looks like an early Suna to me. Um, I think you've also read a little bit of Hitman Reborn, right? Nope, not a single page. Not a single page? Really? Not a single page of Hitman Reborn? No, it's one of the ones that I want to, because people really hype it up. And also, this game loves it. So... Mm -hmm. um, I want to, but I just have never gotten around to it. Uh, okay. I could say right now, I really like Hitman Reborn. Um, there is one specific arc that kind of loses me, because it kind of gets a little bit lost in the sauce. <laughs> it, it it really goes kind of deep, and I don't want to... Actually, do, do you care if I talk about it? Cause I, I forget literally this is don't you. care. Yeah, I forget. You're, so, you're someone who you can talk to someone about the manga, I... and they will still go out and actually read it and watch it and stuff. Yes, I, I am the anti-spoiler man. I don't care at all. Okay, so um, at one point, Reborn, the little baby, he has a bad, he has a magic gun that when you're shot with it, um, it makes you enter the point. It makes you basically like really want to get something done. Like if you have any regrets in life, you'll be reborn 
and you'll automatically only really feel about getting it done. So there's he has a very weird gun, but then there's another little boy in there called Lambo, and Lambo has a special bazooka that ages you by, I think it is 5 years? Or 10 years? It might be 10 years. By 10 years if you're hit by it. And he always accidentally hits himself and then turns into his 15-year-old self, and um, he does a lot of cool things. And for the longest time, it only had been him and one other character hit by the 10 years later gun. But then at some point, they hit Reborn with the gun, and he goes 10 years into the future, but then he doesn't come back. And also, when he when you get hit by the gun, you actually switch places with that older version of yourself. So it's not that specifically that you get older. It's that you're literally switching in place where you are. So your younger self gets sent to the future, and your older self gets sent to the past. I understand so far? Yeah, so he has Yeah, no, totally follow Okay. Yeah, that's so easy. Easy Lambo money. has a, Lambo has a special bazooka that lets you switch places with someone, but o- usually only for a set amount of time. But when he uses it on Reborn, Reborn is stuck in the future for some reason, and also there's no future version of Reborn for some reason. Um, so then Suna decides to follow him, and he gets hit by the bazooka. And this is actually it's a really good start to the arc because when he gets hit by the bazooka, he wakes up and he's in his fucking coffin. Because they're literally burying him that day. <laughs> and then he goes, what happened? And so basically what happens is that they start fighting this villain who... Okay, now this is going to get really lost. There's so many other things that are hard to explain. But here's the basic thing from what I can try and understand here. He is fighting a boss who can see into multiple timelines at the exact same time. So... He's fighting someone who knows that, for example, if you lived in a timeline where you had the cure for cancer, but it doesn't exist in your universe because the person who doesn't know it doesn't exist. Because he knows it in that timeline, he can research how to do it, and then he will actually carry on that knowledge to him there. So basically what happens is that every single timeline basically diverged by this one dude, and he basically causes everything to go bad at one point because he always wins. So the world always kind of shifts to him. The problem is is that there's exactly one universe where that doesn't happen, and now he's trying to stop Suna from kind of doing his stuff. So now Suna's kind of teaming up with either older versions and also younger version, and there's a lot of... It's not even technically time travel, it's time taking over. It's, It's really bizarre and weird when you think about it, and this arc always loses me, and this is the part where I'm like, what the hell is going on in here, and... To be fair, during all this time, great fights during all of it, but they really kind of lose me right there, and it kind of was kind of hard to recover after that. And but after that, it ends up being pretty all right. It's a very kind of hard arc to read and kind of materialize because you remember how a lot of people have problems with like the Future Trunks timeline in Dragon Ball Z. Mm-hmm. Imagine imagine that, but way worse. Oh God. Uh, at least that's how I feel about it, and it's been a very long time since I read it. But I remember back in the day, I was. I, it, it was literally like every update I would read. I, I love Hit Reborn. Even with all that said about this one specific arc, the art for it is so great. The fights are amazing. The characters are great. Um, they have a great tournament tournament arc at one point, which is really great. Uh, they're not afraid to beat the shit out of a baby because Lambo gets the <laughs> shit beat out of him in one of them. Um, <laughs> it's actually a really cool fight because you know he has the his he has the ten years later bazooka. So he switches. Pl- he's five years old. So he switches places with his fifteen-year-old self. Then his fifteen-year-old self gets the shit beat out of him, and then he starts crying. And then he uses the bazooka on himself again. So he gets replaced with the twenty-five-year-old version of himself. And for like two minutes, it's like Super Vegito. He goes like, "Oh yeah, I remember this." <laughs> okay. <laughs> And he basically goes fucking ham and destroys the dude. And right before he's about to win, he reverts back to a baby. So the baby selfie, he's just like, what? And then the dude who was getting his ass kicked is like, fuck this. And he just beats the shit out of him. Really good stuff. That's amazing, though. It is. I love Hitman Reborn. I can... Anyone should read it. It's really also kind of funny because it starts off as kind of like a comedy. So it's like, haha, he gets reborn and he gets to like... Tell the girl that he likes, that he loves her, because that was his uh, uh, regret when he got shot by the bullet. Um, And then he's always naked for some reason. But then later on, he gets to be able to kind of control it, which is why this form, when it gets and turns into a serious manga thing, you can see right here. 
So yeah, Reborn. Really cool. Like that they have a free unit of them because I actually really wanted the limited version. Um, and I was kind of sad that I don't have them. Yeah, of Suna. So I'm glad but to have like a... There's two. Yeah. The second one's dope as fuck too. And, uh, and technically, I really want to get Vongola Pr- Primo as well, who was in here, who was the Muso. <laughs> I've been trying to get him for a and while. Uh, so. Giotto or whatever his name is? Yeah, G- Giotto. Yeah, or, he's still fucking good. Yeah. He is the first boss of the Vongola family, and it's like a mafia family. You'll love it. You like Part 5, right? <laughs> it's, Hell yeah, it's, I like Part 5. <laughs> it's very similar. There's a lot of mafia shit going on. <laughs> A lot of family talk. So that's why Reborn is kind of training soon. And he's like, you're going to take over the family. And he's like, I'm just a Japanese boy. He's like, too bad. Now you join Mafia. <laughs> Get shot with gun. Die if you're not going to be useful. Um, <laughs> Get shot with gun. Yeah, kind of. He kind of just uh, fucking smokes them all the time. And he's like one of those like sensei dudes who's just like... Uh, he's like Yoda, but if without the, <laughs> without the weird way of speaking... So he just constantly fucks with Suna. I love that. It's really good. Uh, I would suggest anyone gets it, and I'm glad to see the the Vongola love here going on. Let's move on, though. Speaking of another series you have not read that I like, <laughs> Corazon from One Piece. Ugh. Uh, he's cool. I like him. He's really more for Law. He's the reason Law is so angry at Don Flamenco. Um... I actually don't really like the design of Coruscant. I like his backstory and everything about him, but when you look at him, he kind of looks like a very weird, like, clown man. A little bit. He, he looks like bit. he's he's ready to go on the purge. <laughs> and yeah, I could see that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's got like the fluffy cape and the weird face paint. Yeah, he definitely has that just air of look to him. But I think he's a really cool character, so I'm I'm gladly take him for free. <laughs> but I can't deny the fact that he looks like he's the villain of the Purge Seven, <laughs> ready to get it done. And next, this is a character that you can actually speak about because it's a Bleach character. So why don't you tell us about uh, Masaki? Hell Kurosaki. yeah, it's fucking Ichigo's mommy, bro. Is that his mom? That's his mom. Jesus, I didn't That's, know. Uh... He- that's his mom back when she's in high school. It's it's, it's from the past. Oh, okay. Um, but so uh, he sh- he shoots himself with the ten years later bazooka. And- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, there's a flashback where it kind of explains sort of where Ichigo's backstory comes from. So you see that monster on her thing? Yeah, that's a white. That's a hollow that bites her and like infects her, and. Uh, Ichigo's dad has to make a deal with Urahara basically to keep her alive by using his spiritual energy to constantly repress the hollows. But then when they have a baby, uh, the hollow goes into the baby, who is Ichigo, which is why he has an inner hollow. Oh. That's why white Ichigo exists, yeah. So uh, (laughs) I've never actually read very much bleach i've only read random chapters and watch random episodes you know how ichigo has that hollow mask yes i I do remember that that's why i was also confused about that when i was was like who the fuck is this he he looks like a a white angry ichigo that's basically what he is yeah (laughs) angry white ichigo so there you go so that's the backstory for him so his mom's in the game now yeah, his dad is also in the game. His dad is the banner character with the black oh. hair. That's cool. So yeah, she's free. Free mama for everyone. I'll take that because I will gladly take any free lady character in general. Uh, but this one sounds cool. Maybe at some point I should also read Bleach because I have also never read it. I've read Naruto and the um, Naruto and the other one, as I say. what Who the fuck was with Naruto back in the day? <laughs> Bleach, Naruto, and hmm, the one series that I keep saying I really like that Zen doesn't read. I don't know the name of it, though. It, 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 to be fair to me, One Piece has been around so much, I don't. I consider it a modern manga. Sometimes I forget that it started with them. Uh, funny how that works out. <laughs> it happens to us all. Yeah, it does. So yeah, Masaki. I'll gladly take her. Next, we've got, now finally, a series we both know and like. Demon Slayer, Shinobu, but like Kid Shinobu. 
Is this like a past of the past event or something? I think so. It feels like there's a lot of past stuff going on. To be fair, yeah. the the Vongola Prime Primo is also, I think, a past character because he, I think, is long dead. Oh, by it's the like friends. Well, but Jotaro doesn't fit that theme. I mean, he lives in the past in general. That's true. He has violent PTSD from Part Three, so he just yeah. relives 1987 every single time, <laughs> over and over again. Always, always. Um. I like Shinobu, Zen. I don't know how you feel about Shinobu, but I really like her. I like I, her as a character. I'm not like super attached to her, but she's fine. Yeah, I I was very attached uh, to her to the point where when Demon Slayer started getting serious, I was like, "Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> Why are you hurting me? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't feel like this is fair in any real way." But I'll gladly take it. I've been actually trying to get the um, banner version of her, and I've been unable to get. So I'll, I'll just take the young version. The, the blue gacha shinobu? Yeah, the blue gacha shinobu. I've been, I've been able to get a lot of the other ones, but of her, I've been unable to get so far. Damn, that sucks. Yeah. I could have picked, pick her with the, 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 the selection one. Yeah, I could have, but I ended up going for the sensei from We Never, from we Never Learn. Because I, I really like that character. Yeah. Yeah, yes. she's good too. Yeah. She's real good. All is yeah, it's really unfortunate for me that all the we never learn girls are in some way they're ranging from good to amazing. So I Yeah, they're all them. really good. I yeah. have most of them and they're all fucking really good. They're they, all of them useful in some way, so it's like as a fan of that manga, I'm like, damn it, I'm gonna have to go get them now. <laughs> go get yeah. them. Yeah. Pick That's them the up. Struggle, isn't it? it is. And finally we have uh the legendary some the I forget what are these called, the legend thing, right? Just legend? Uh, it's a legend summon. A it's legend called. summon. Uh, yep. Gara's mom. Gara's mommy. Yep. Yeah. All right. I'll gladly take Gara's mom. Yeah. Gara's big old sand mom. Yeah. I was actually thinking back on this because I was like wondering, because I remember I don't. I think while I was reading World Trigger, I was like, why didn't I like, um the Chunin exam so much. Maybe specifically it was the Forest of Death. And I realized it was because I wanted it just to be super short and I just wanted them to show the Gara stuff and then just kind of move on. Because <laughs> that's the stuff I remember most from it is Gara when he was in his super emo phase, like, killing all those dudes, <laughs> like, with zero regret in his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> you forget because of I, how... Uh... He mellows out, but he was just like fucking murdering dudes back in, yeah. <laughs> murdering teens left and right back, back in, in the day. In, uh, the beginning, yeah, back in the beginning, back when he was fucking amazing. Not to say that adult Gara isn't, you know, obviously he's learned from the mistakes and knows that he shouldn't go around killing people with sand all the time. But he can't deny uh, his young self did a lot of cool ass moves. Yeah, Gara's always kind of cool. Like, yeah. he's never lame. Yeah, it's true. It's very true. So even someone like him can summon his giant protective mom, and I think that's pretty cool. So I'll take it. And finally, the man we mentioned before, the Kira, the the man hand, the man hand lover, I guess, the man hand hey, enjoyer. Man. He's a big fan of it. I guess Kira makes sense to be one of these cataclysmic battles. I guess technically speaking, the part four villain isn't really. Uh, isn't really on the Dio status, but to be fair, not a lot of other villains from. And you can't be on Dio's level. No, it's very hard to actually reach that status, so I don't feel like too bad about them making a free. Even the part one Dio is not a gotcha character. <laughs> so, it makes sense, and I'll gladly take a free Kira. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm kind of hyped that he's free. Yeah. Because I really want to max. I really want to get that aura, but I bet he's going to be hard. Oh, no, I bet he's going to be extremely hard if you do not have part 4 Jotaro. Yeah. Uh, okay, and now I think we can finally get on to the new Musou character, which is something we can finally talk about. They added another Musou into the game. This is basically the LR equivalent of if you play any other kind of gacha. Super hard to get, but they're extremely powerful. Can you tell him what he does, Zen? Yes, let me pull up the uh, good old translations, though. Like how our entire show is just like, you could go to OCHD and just look at this up yourself. 
I mean, you can, right. but we're here to tell the people. Yeah, Some we're people here don't to, have we're here time to spread the word. Exactly. All right, so the ultimate, we're, we're talking about uh, Von Gola Prima, right? Yeah, Von Gola Prima. Okay. So his ultimate is remove one attack down debuff from him, do 500 damage to one, or 500% damage to one enemy. For three turns, boost his ultimate attack damage by 10%. And for three turns, boost the normal attack damage of all yellows by 15%. Okay. So already good. Yeah, His buddy good. skill is charge your lemon legend summon gauge by 13%. For four turns, boost the attack and ultimate attack damage of his buddy by 38%. For four turns, boost the recovery of his buddy by 30%. And for two turns... Heart bubbles will appear as rainbow bubbles instead, up to four. Jeez. Super good. Yeah. Yeah. That's that a lot is, of buff. We were also talking specifically that there's not a lot of units that buff the recovery um, stat. So mm -hmm. this is actually someone to help a lot of characters that are like that if you do not want to specifically run him. Yep. Uh, and what's the and passive? His, uh, his passive is reduce freeze damage received by 6,000. Boost the ultimate attack of damage of all yellow team members by 8%. So that means that just having him there gives you 8% ult increase to everybody. Um, this unit's skill bubble becomes charged up every turn that you don't use it. So the base damage is boosted by 10%, and the blast radius is boosted by 1 for every turn that passes while they're on the board up to 3 charges. It's a brand new mechanic that only he has. So when you make a skill bubble, it just sits at 0 then it goes up to one charge, two charge, three charge, and then it explodes. So the longer you delay it, the more damage that he does. And then on a turn where you activate a charged up skill bubble, he gets a 24% increase to his attack and an 8% increase to the legend summon gauge. <laughs> really damn good. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh, this guy just deals so much damage. <laughs> it's kind of gross. <laughs> they made him real good. Which is fitting for a lot of these other characters. For how uh, you said you felt he was as good as Super Vegito, as a comparison I, to the other Musos. Better, <laughs> but better. Um, he might be the best one in my opinion, but uh, that's I'm far from a an authority on single player mode. But um, oh, fair enough. I like I this guy to me is like a must have yellow character. Like you, you have to have this fucker. You don't yeah. have. A, he's just that good. Super Vegito is also that good. Like, he's crazy good. Mm -hmm. But I feel like uh, this guy is just ridiculous. Another level. Yeah, like, I think he's the best yellow unit in the game. I tried so hard to get him, but it's. Uh, these characters are very hard to get, unfortunately. Yeah. Musos uh, are just absolute hell. Yeah. I think I'm. Not even close to halfway done to pity. I don't think I'll be able to hit pity even if they do. They have been giving a lot to summon with, but uh, hopefully I get them at some point because yeah, this mechanic he has is real fun to play with. And I saw someone using it, and I was looking at it, and I was like, "This is so much overkill. This is such an unbelievable amount of death." It was Kaze. Yeah. <laughs> Kaze's video where he had like an entire board filled with them and he was just going to town. I was like, this is just death. I don't understand how this character even had the, a the one where it's like the whole board and he yeah. has like two million. Yeah. Yeah, it does cool two million. All right. Mm, felt really good. So yeah, I hope to get him at some point. Again, I really like Reborn and this is basically the dude who. Um, is the whole patriarch of the Vongola family, so I would love to have him. And like you said, this game sure seems to love Reborn, which I'm down for. Yeah, and it they, really does love it. Yeah, and the characters usually look pretty cool, too, when they do things. So I'm all here for it. You were actually able to get him, right? Yes, I, I got two of them, actually. Like, well, why'd you have to flex on me that way? You could have just left the right one. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Could have just of that fucking Rainbow Neos. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> Still salty from the Rainbow Neos. I'm I knew that it was. Never not going to be. You never not going to be. Go check out the tag duels to see what Zen's talking about. It should be out by the time this is up, hopefully. Um, 
let's move on to the other ones because dude there's so much going on during this next we have the other limited because he's not the only limited in the game because they also have other limiteds let's talk about law um who is from one the, piece the D clan law yeah the d clan best respect the d clan zen <laughs> respect the z the d respect the d yeah uh, so his ultimate attack is 500 percent damage for two turns boost his attack by 20 percent, and for two turns when he's attacked he recovers 3,000 3, hp or 14,000 hp in the tower i don't really know the conversion rate to the tower i say that every time but it's very weird his yeah, buddy skill know. is convert a random bubble to a skill bubble with 114 base damage convert the top and bottom row of the board excluding skill bubbles and block bubbles to red and for four turns, boost the attack and recovery of red allies by 7%. Real good for, uh, for red teams. Mm -hmm. And then his passive is reduce bleed received by 4280. Boost his ultimate attack by 17%. And during turns 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, before his turn, he will convert two green bubbles and two heart bubbles into rainbows. Mm. All right. He's good. I, I think he's good. Yeah, I like him. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um... I think this is the law. It makes sense to get a law because it's a free courtesan. I think this is from the Don Flamenco fight. So this is kind of, except for the current ongoing art with Anamonaguchi or Anamonagusha, it's hard for me to pronounce Japanese words. It's not a me forgetting just because of Wano. There you go. Based off of Wano currently going on, I think that's the current strongest form of law. But if there was going to be a limited law, it would make sense to make it from this arc specifically. Even though he does kind of get... Um, shown up a little bit because you know luffy has to get that win <laughs> a little bit yeah. salty that it had to be luffy delivering the final blow have you have i ever shown you that picture of this arc of someone read you so there's a famous picture of this where don flamenco is going to stomp on law and um luffy stops him with his foot and it's just like law just is on the floor going like how am i so weak like i still can't avenge the someone I love I have to be saved here at the last second and Luffy's the one like say, like he's putting one it's a very good scene putting one foot forward someone re redid that scene redrew it and they replaced the animals so Luffy is a monkey and Don Flamingo isn't actually a flamingo really yeah let me see if I can find it real quick I'm gonna put a pause in the video real quick just so I can find this picture Amazing. And show it. good <laughs> all right there it is. I just saw the flamingo. <laughs> he, he's a flamingo. Uh, Luffy's a monkey, and I forget. Um, Law is a seal. Like, yeah, he's just. Is he a seal? Yeah, he's a oh, seal. He, he looks like a hat. <laughs> yeah, because the, the seal looks like a hat. But this is maybe one of my favorite um, drawings from this arc. And when I saw the animal version of it, it fucking killed me. Now it's ruined, and I only. Think of this image whenever I think of this fight. <laughs> uh, uh, so good. So yeah, I'm glad to have him, the limited version of him. I really wanted to summon for him, but I'm still going for Primo, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get him. Yeah, that's tough. I'm getting Jotaro for sure, but I'm letting Law pass me by. Yeah, and we don't know what Jotaro does yet, right? Um, I like translated it badly but i don't have it on hand we can wait then let's wait for when he actually comes out and we could talk about him i think we did part for jotaro and our specific history of him thanks to pitter patter pop deserves a little bit Is more it's gonna be finally broken yeah yeah we should wait and we'll wait and we'll do it at a future episode but we can talk about the other units at least the other ones that were released which is ichigo's dad umibozo umi uh... Umibozo, Bozu, that's how you say it, and Kane Kocho, which is the uh, sister of young Shinobu. Yes. So there you go. Uh, which one? You can start with whichever one you want to start first, then to break we'll them down. We'll start with uh, Ishin because Bleach. Let's do it. Uh, so his ultimate is 430% damage to one enemy, and if they are DPS, an additional 70 for 500 total. For three turns, burn all enemies, so every enemy on the board. Starts for 5,000 damage, and every turn after that, add an additional 10,000. It's pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, his, his buddy skill is convert a random bubble to a skill bubble and boost its blast radius by one. 
convert six random bubbles to red bubbles, and for two turns, inflict 25% bleed weakening to one enemy, and also for two turns, inflicts 20% burn weakening. So he works exactly like the world trigger guy that did freeze and bleed does. Exactly the same, but for burn yeah, instead yeah. of freeze. Ooh, nice. Yeah, and then his passive is reduce bleed damage received by 3880. When HP is 75% or lower, you get 22% attack. So, yeah. Mm. Uh, all right. I kind of like the weakening part of him for here for far on a friendship. So for a buddy skill, it's pretty nice. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. And the, the double one, the only thing is that it's hard to double up buffs and get their max value. Like, because of the way they work. Mm, yeah. But uh, it's still cool. Yeah, I still think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I would like him. Unfortunately, he's not on the Primo banner, so I'll have to hope to get him a little bit later on down the road. But I actually think because of the current setup I had, it would work pretty good with me using Endeavor and uh, Jin and Deku. So that way I actually do have Burn and Bleed. <laughs> I have both of them. So I actually use this guy a little bit. But... Alright, let's go on to the next unit then. Uh, Alright, which one do you want? Let's go with uh, Kotzo. Because we actually know who that is. <laughs> yes. Deal. All right, so it's the older sister of... Uh, what's her name? Shinobu? Ultimate attack is 430% damage that ignores damage reduction and then inflicts 20,000 fixed damage to everybody and then also recovers 2,200 health. Pretty good, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. um, that's a lot of health and a good amount of fixed damage, too. And then you got... Buddy skill, uh, convert six green bubbles to yellow, six red to heart, reduce curse by two turns for all yellows, and then for two turns at the end of each turn, you'll recover 3,000 health. And her, her passive is reduce freeze damage received by 4,800, and whenever she is attacked during her next turn, she gets 23% boost to her own attack. All right, not bad. Not bad, not bad, yeah. yeah not bad. I would definitely want her again because she is related from oh, Demon Slayer. Apparently, apparently Umibozu is from Gintama. Did not know that. Yes, he is. I think they might be related to um, uh, Koka because I think I remember seeing someone running a team with the full family. So I was like, okay, maybe they're related. And I also think this is an older version because I remember the same person saying, it's really weird that he's his older version and not his young version. <laughs> Because there's something weird yeah, going on with his hair. else is getting young baby versions. Yeah, there's also something weird going on with his hair, too. Which, if you actually look into the art of it, he has, like, a weird-looking wig on, I He's think. He's got a really weird Hitler vibe going with that mustache, too. He does. He kind of does look, like, a little bit like that, but I'm sure he's a perfectly fine guy. <laughs> um, yeah, he's probably very nice. <laughs> yeah, very nice man, as far as we can tell. Why don't you actually go over what he does right now while we're talking about him? While we're looking at this hair. Yeah. Uh, well, so he does 470 damage to 470% damage to one enemy. And if they're a DPS class, you do an additional 55%. So that's what, 525%? Um, at the start of the next turn, convert one random bubble into a skill bubble with 10% base damage. Um, which I think up to now, that has actually been a limited only thing to do that. I'm not 100% sure. But. Um, not bad. Uh, his buddy skill is burst four yellow bubbles, and then for two turns, reduce the appearance rate of yellow bubbles to zero. And for three turns, boost the ultimate attack damage of blue team members by 20%. And his passive is reduce bomb damage received for this unit by 4660, and boost his ultimate attack damage by 20%. All right. I had no idea that he added something that was mainly given to limited units. Yeah, I, I know that Julius has that ability and Kenshin has it. Um, I don't know who else has it. Hmm. Pretty nice, then. At least based off of what I can see here. Again, sometimes it can be a little bit hard for me to look at units and figure out how good they are, but I think he would be pretty solid. Yeah. I, I think they're all good. Um, mm -hmm. To an extent. I don't think they're all any of them are like super crazy, but they're they're good. They could function in the team that they have, and of course, because of the single-player content of the game, if you use them for that, those specific um, events that they, which they excel at, they'll be amazing for you then. Basically, yeah, yeah. I really wanted Ishin, um, 
because I mean Bleach. And I just wanted him really bad. Yes. And uh, I got like four copies of the sister and a bunch of the other guy too. I didn't get a single one of Ishin. Oh, that's rough. Yeah. So what happens when you share your banner with um two other units on there? Yeah. Who knows? Maybe are you gonna keep drawing for them, or are you just like? I'm if done. I get more rubies, I probably will because I'm. Uh, I are. I made sure that I'm gonna be able to get Jotaro. Um, but I'm not gonna like buy any or anything for him. All right. All right. I don't I think, think he's, he's not money good enough. But if you get him, you'll be happy because he's from Bleach. Yeah, because he's fucking Bleach's goat, man. Oh, fucking yes. goated. Best so, shit ever. So I've heard many times from specifically you, as you see it <laughs> every other month or so. Every other month, I need to up my numbers, rookie numbers. Oh, my bad. Every other day. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it. There's some other stuff going up too. There's some leak stuff like on Asta's birthday, Gintoki's and Naruto's. You'll be and Suna's. There'll be um. Their limiteds will come back, and you get and get a free multi on it. So that's pretty nice. I think Asta's yes. birthday is on ten four. Gintoki is on ten ten. Naruto is is also ten ten, which I had no idea. Soon is on ten fourteen. So that's mm-hmm. all. Cool. The Naruto one I might actually pull on because I want uh, that that Karama Chakra cloak too. Mm. So it has all of them. Oh yeah, that's the so, one where you do the ninth. Yeah, so they're all on there, but um. For Naruto specifically, the ninth one is guaranteed Karama Chakra 2. Um, yeah, well, the, all of the banners have a guaranteed limited on the ninth one, so you just have to check which version of it is. Like, I think Asta only has the one, so yeah. his ninth multi will always be his. Naruto They're, has a bunch of limiteds, though. Black um, Asta, Asta, as they call him here. Yeah. <laughs> which feels weird to say, but... Yeah. Okay. Just, you know, it's, it is what it is. Um, yeah, in some cases, it is what it is. Asta. Yeah, same thing. Dark Asta, Black Asta. Yeah. To Japan, it's the same thing. Yeah, Japan don't care. Yeah. Um, don't. Where is it? Yeah. So yeah, for on the Asta banner, you get the Dark Asta. <laughs> for the Gintoki banner, it has both of his limiteds, but you get the actual good one. Um, if you do all nine. And then same for Naruto. You it has all of his limiteds, but you get the the really good one. On his uh. Yeah, and soon as the same way. Yeah, Suna, you should get the red one um, uh, and the ninth one for Suna. It is really funny that Asta is the only one with only one limited. (laughs) But it's fitting. Very fitting. Okay, so that's coming up. And I think this is going to be the final thing we're doing because this is important to what it is. We're almost done. Like I said, there was just so much going on for one thing. And and, uh, Jampudi, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of overwhelming, to be honest, at times. (laughs) Yeah, it really is. That's my one thing with Jumpudi is like, I'll play it. I'll play like Duel Links for a night and I'll go back into to Jumpshi and I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I forgot yeah. to play and now I'm, I have to scramble and play for hours. Yeah, it's kind of like the exact opposite problem of um, Orc Collection back in the day where Orc Collection was very slow. Like five characters at max you would get a month. And here it's like, no, we don't believe in that. <laughs> We're going to go fucking all hell hands on in uh yeah they, they don't listen to that at all mm-hmm. and speaking of not listening to that at all we have the official roadmap which is what we're going to be talking about here so let, i think october it looks pretty like tame just like the 3.5 is going on there's going to be some power improvements and that's basically it for november though we got the bleach 20th anniversary event the thousand year blood war arc a We're little, totally going to get a dope-ass limited Ichigo. I'm so excited. You're so excited. I, here's where I'm excited. A little XXX heroin hot springs event that can only mean one the thing. Yuna one? It has the to be girl? the Yuna. I want Yuna so badly. I think I've told you this before. The Wait, limited, you don't have her yet? No, I have Yuna, but this has to be a new Yuna, right? It has to be a limited I from... I assume if it's, if it's about her, yeah, probably. There, are, th- there's plenty of other characters that you can get from Yuna, but in terms of a limited, they're probably going to do the one where she's like, speaking of, thank God I can speak of this because you're never going to read Yuna. It's just like not your taste. But there's a part where Yuna gets like super crazy fucking battle armor, and she's like um, super goddamn powerful. She has like the powers of the Nine Tail Fox basically, and she can punch dudes out of the world. 
And I really hope that this is where it's setting up of that. There's probably a bunch of other characters we have to get before we get that version of Yuna. But there, there was going to be a, a limited from Yuna and the Haunted Hot Springs. It would probably be that version of Yuna. That or the, uh, the MC. I love how this event is just called A Little Porn. Is it? It's called A Little XXX. Well, that's kind of that's why it's. I feel like it's um, Yuna because I think I've said it before. The line between actual hentai and Yuna and the Haunted Hot Springs is your belief that at no point there was any penetration. <laughs> that's how. <laughs> that's how close. I think they actually make reference that the only reason that there is nothing going on here because this man has the iron strength of will of pure respect for these women that he is not going to get hard at this moment. <laughs> He's going to respect them so much. It's the most anti-misogynist series ever. It really, to the, the lengths that this man goes to, to make sure that he is in no way trying to be creepy, but he's in <laughs> stuck in this, like, at, at a, this nightmare world where no matter what he does he ends up in this terrible situation of like today i went to go get some gum and all of a sudden now this woman has lost her underwear and her uh bits and parts are up in my face and there's really nothing i can do but just kind of calm down don't overreact pretend like this is a normal thing and <laughs> go about my day obviously they'll feel very shaken up about it and hit me i will accept it because obviously some terrible transgression has gone down here, but that's about the best I can do here. Um, so I, I would love it if we both got what we wanted. You get a super awesome limited Yichigo, and I got a bunch more women. A <laughs> you bunch know? more of, of ghost hot spring women. Yeah, there's so many that they've done. There's Tengu women, Zen, Oni women. So many women that <laughs> we can get. All kinds of all kinds of hot spring women. Yeah, Tanuki women, regular women. <laughs> there's there's some women that are just normal women. Because <laughs> I think there's like 18 women in this series. <laughs> At one point, there's so many, it becomes a separate harem where one of the little girls from Yuna basically has her own harem. That's how, that's when you know you have too many women in your, <laughs> in your harem manga. <laughs> when your other women are getting their own women yeah it's uh. it's it does but uh phase one elements to make it easier to train heroes will also happen so here are only jewels implemented so we'll see uh so December jewels are the things that increase your um like levels like they're the dupe substitutes the red and the green Ooh. and the blue circles so maybe so I, don't start know, I don't know if hero only means like regular gotcha but not limiteds or something I, I don't know that makes it seem like the event you're doing you'll maybe get some jewels to get them like specific I, to I maybe doubt the it limited. means i doubt it means no villain characters that doesn't what wouldn't make much sense since they're oh, all free yeah. anyway but hmm. uh, i guess we'll find out there but yeah i yeah. never even brought it to my mind maybe villains may not get it but i, I doubt it's like that yeah i'm sure it's probably like re standard gotcha is fine but they don't work on limiteds or something uh -huh. like that uh, in December 2021, we got Black Clover Elf Reincarnation Arc. I assume you're caught up on Black Clover and you can tell me what that means. Uh, I'm not caught up on Black Clover because that shit sucks, but um, I have read up to the Elf Reincarnation Arc. That's when I stopped reading because it sucked. Um, <laughs> so look forward to it in December. <laughs> it's, it's just a fucking giant war between possessed uh, magic users who are possessed by elves and the regular guys. And oh, then man. it takes fucking forever, and then it ends, and everyone's like, okay. Imagine getting possessed by an elf, and you're like, oh man, are you possessed by a ghost? And I got possessed by an elf. That sucks, possessed man. Possessed by an elf, yeah. Fucking uh, Gimli got you? <laughs> what, what, that's a terrible... Gimli is a dwarf, not an elf. Ah, oh, okay, my bad. On Legolas is Leg an elf. <laughs> Legolas got you? <laughs> Legolas got you. Got you to do a sick 450 and shoot three arrows at a dude's neck <laughs> under your possession? Okay, so Black Clover is going to be doing stuff. Good for the Black Clover fans. They exist. Not to make fun of them. Because they they already are in a... As a, as a set, yeah, they're, they're already down bad, man. We yeah, don't, they don't need us. They don't need us. But speaking of what I do need, though, Kirisu, a.k.a. the sensei from We Never Learn, is getting a Christmas variant. So I'm very happy about that. So I'm going to be having the save. So this is actually already looking very rough for me because in November, I might have to start saving, like, 
for rest of October and be like, oh, if they actually do have a lot of characters from Yuna, then I actually want to get all the characters from there. And then in December, it's like, oh, we have another character from We Never Learned coming in here. And I'm like, oh, I really hope that's not Gotcha. And that's just a free character that I can get. And then a new type of event for Christmas is coming as well. As well as a New Year's times 20 million downloads. That dual unit will appear. Zen, who is that dual unit? Uh, so I've had like a million people talk about this. It's like the mm-hmm. only thing that we talk about in that group chat now. Um, yeah. It's like there's a bunch of different ones. Because if you assume it's from the same series, it, it could be anything, right? Mm-hmm. Like... Ichigo and Rukia, or like Kuroko and Kagami, or something. Um, my thought is that it's probably going to be something like Ichigo and Naruto. Hmm. Because that we have the the, the the Goku and Luffy already, uh, and then like the the other the, the the not protagonists. What do you call it? The like mascot frontman things for uh, Jumpudi are Dragon Ball and. Mm. Um, so I feel like Ichigo and Naruto are going to get something together at some point. Um, or it could just be like, it's hard to say because that's not descriptive. They act like, oh, it's an obvious one, but it's like, what obvious one is not in here already? It could L be like. Ellen Aureli. Finally. Oh, yeah, Aurelian Kid Goku. That's what it's going to be. Uh, <laughs> are you kidding me? I would go fucking hype bananas I for know that. I would lose your fucking mind if that happened. <laughs> me and OCHD thrilling <laughs> down going, oh. <laughs> I mean, it could be like, Asta and Yuno, it could be Ichigo and Rukia, it could be like another fucking Naruto duo. Could be Piccolo uh, and uh, Gohan. Piccolo, or yeah, or it could be like uh, I was going to say Goku and Gohan, but he's already got one with Vegeta. Oh, how hilarious would it be if it's like Piccolo and Gohan, but it's like training Gohan. So it's the special art is like Piccolo fucking tossing Gohan at the end. Chucking <laughs> little kid Gohan at the fu- oh my god, if the special is him just throwing it at them. Yeah, then he turns ape and then goes rah, 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 and then Piccolo <laughs> destroys the moon and he calms down. <laughs> it could be like a JoJo one, I guess. Like, uh, yeah, it could be a JoJo one too. There's Joseph one. and Caesar or something. Um, Dio and Geo. Yeah. There's so many ways that this could or, go. Or, I mean, it could just be another fucking Demon Slayer one because that's every celebration has Demon Slayer <laughs> characters. So Finally, we're going to get large titty pink hair with Bo- Snake Boy, the, the everyone's <laughs> favorite romance from Demon Slayer, finally represented. You're right, it could totally be that. So we'll, I'll be interested to see what it is. But based off of you saying it being like, we do get a Bleach event right before, and then leading up to it, we get a Naruto event for January. I feel like it's actually pretty likely we get those two together in some capacity. I think that would make a lot of sense. Yeah, it, it just like it feels right because they're the that one legend summon that's like uh, the all heroes of, of jump or whatever. It's all four of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it makes sense to me. And also for January, the 20 million downloads continue. It's a Naruto event and then a phase two replay element for intermediate veteran players. An event you can play repeatedly, new end game content implement, implemented, super dimensional battle improvements. So more single player stuff, it sounds like. Yeah, sounds like it. Like just different single player cool. options, which I think is good. Yeah, very cool. Um, and also February, we start with uh, you know th- we're gonna have a first feature, a first feature festival featuring Siren, the the series everyone's been waiting to be added to Jimpudi. Well, so Siren is actually in the game already. Is um, it? Oh, it's their first feature festival. One character. It's a free one too. Ah, okay. All right, fair enough. So this is big for Siren. They'll get the first one. Also, there's a Baruto event right before it, so you know to save. So <laughs> you'll have plenty if you like Siren. And if you don't like either, then and near the end, there will be a 20 million download celebration featuring the flashiest celebration ever, which makes me feel like that is also a Demon Slayer guy because that's the, the 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 dude that's coming up in the anime right now, right? The The guy who just decided to retire with his three wives. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, the the goat, the guy who kills one demon, and he's like, all right, I'm fucking out of here. Yeah, <laughs> I, got I have done, I've done, I have time for this shit. The only character in all of Shonen history who has ever suffered a debilitating wound and said, 
you know what? I think it's time for me to retire. They don't go like, give me the metal arm and I will continue fucking fighting. He's like, no, I have three wives and I've yeah, got a like, lot man, of money. I gotta put food on the table for my three wives. Exactly. If I die, they're not going to be able to <laughs> defend themselves. <laughs> you saw their actions during this arc. Do you really think they can continue on without me? <laughs> so I feel like that's probably him, but that is February. That would be my guess. I don't know who you think. Is there a flashy person that you can think of? Uh, I am willing it to be Almine Daiki from Kuroko because I have decided that's who it's going to be because that's who I want it to be. It Fair won't enough. be. It's definitely going to be the Demon Slayer guy, a million, million, zillion percent. But yeah. I have decided that it's going to be Almine instead. <laughs> that makes sense. And then this is the big one. Uh, a Grand Alliance Festival, Yu Yu Hakusho and Hunter x Hunter, a super That's crossover. That's going to be so fucking cool. So unbelievably cool. Finally, Kuwabara and Hisoka, the fucking clown <laughs> man, one duo unit. Are you kidding so me? You, you, okay, so we're definitely getting Yusuke and Gon as a duo, right? Yeah. Do Either you think the getting... second one's going to be Killua and Hiei? Uh, damn, I, you know what? If I'm being Probably. honest... It's right? very likely, unless they did decide to do what they did with World Trigger, in which case we'll get Yusuke with a, another hunt. You know it would be funny if they got the fucking gone shitty dad to go with Yusuke? <laughs> oh my they... god, Ding! Because he's just Yusuke? <laughs> yeah, so they just look very similar. <laughs> he looks <next>. identical! <laughs> it hey, looks did like... you see the Hunter Hunter volume? You know how the authors always write little things? Yeah. Um... There's one where it's in a Hunter Hunter volume and it's a drawing of Yusuke and he's like, stop comparing me to this fucking guy. <laughs> oh, it's that'd really be... funny. Oh, that'd be very good. I think that would be a very funny duo. The, here's the thing. There's a, so many duos they could do because obviously I do think that it is going to end up being Hiei, even though I really want it to be Kuwabara. But based off of World Trigger, it looks like they're not going for specifically the best friend, but kind of like the second carry. And the second carry to me is probably... Kie, if you do not count Yoko Karama. Yeah, I feel like it's got to be Kilua and Hiei. If it's yeah. going to be more from the main group. Yeah, that would make the, it just make the most sense. You to know what would be cool, though? If we got our first free villain duo of, like, Taguro and Hisoka. Oh, that'd be so cool. I would love that together. I would love a, a first, another, if you want, they want to do another free duo, actually put Kuobara and Liara together. To make the ultimate fucking tag team combo. <laughs> Liara and Kovar. It would actually be cool if they did two gacha ones that was like Yusuke and Hiei with their two. Mm -hmm. And then Kurama and Kuobar were like free with their two. Yes. That'd be so cool. Or it, um, another good duo because I think it'd be funny because it'd be basically a quadruplet. Who's the ant guy that always has someone next to him in Hunter x Maryland? Hunter? Yeah, Merriman. And who's the other person he's usually with? The girl? Yeah. Uh, I forget her name. Okay, Merlman and his girl, and then it's a duo unit. Those two units combined with Taguro and Elder Taguro, both of the Taguro brothers. So there's four <laughs> units at once on the screen. <laughs> it really is. Even as someone who doesn't really, um, because I haven't read Hunter X Hunter, I only know some of it. But even the idea of this is cool enough for me to go like. There's so much stuff that they could do to, together and so many fun combinations that they could actually do that I'm super excited to see what they do. And even if they don't do the specific combinations, if it's like the last one, we're going to get some free versions of some other dudes and some some versions of the others. So it's all a win-win in my eyes for this. Yeah, I, I can't wait for that crossover. It's it's the thing I'm looking forward to the most because I love Togashi stuff. Yeah, so yeah I'm, I'm also a big fan it. of his as well. So it's going to be a lot of fun. Can't wait to see it. And then after that in April, the fourth anniversary celebration, phase three, new play elements will be added to the game growth, new battle styles, similar style to dual units. So that means a new kind of unit. And then captain plan start. Um, I, I guess. So we're going to, we just don't know battle, anything about I that. I don't know if it's, I'm thinking it might be like versus units. Hmm. Like Ooh. how starter shooters used to do. So, like, instead of Jotaro and Josuke, it would be, like, Jotaro and Dio. You know? Ooh, that'd be kind of cool. I would or definitely like that. Or it could be, it could take a page out of Dokkan's book, and it could be swapping units. 
Swapping units would be cool too. Again, there's plenty like of combinations of stuff. Yeah, like do. you have a Goku and then you do something and the Goku switches out to Vegeta or something like that. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Um, can't wait to see that. It's in April, so it's going to be a while away. Yeah, and then we, also, got, we got time to go. And I have no idea what the fuck Captain Plan means. Yeah, we're going to have to just figure that out. And then after that, in after April, they've got some new stuff from uh, Buso Rankin, the Prince of Tennis, World Trigger, Naruto, the Seven Fokage, and the Scarlet Springs. Hokushente no Shinigami and Mystery Series. So I am so fucking ready for Buso Renkin and the Prince of Tennis. <laughs> I fucking love that shit. I love Buso Renkin so much and nobody else likes it. I know. Uh, but it's I fucking the, love it. It's also from the same guy who did Kenshin, right? It is. The horrible beast who did Kenshin. The awful, yes, terrible yes, human being. Which we always have to mention before yes, someone else I feel does like it. I can't, I can't praise his manga without being like, I know he's a piece of shit, yeah. but I really like his manga. Sorry. Yeah. It's um, it's it's definitely one of the more uh, lesser known of his too, because just because Kenshin leaves yes. such a large shadow, it's well, yeah, hard to Ken, kind of follow. Like, nothing nothing can get close to Kenshin, but just Buso like, Renkin, so good. I love it. Everyone else hates it. I love it. Um, and I fucking love the Prince of Tennis. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is so raw. I can I can feel that. You know, you know, it'd be a good collab with the Prince of Tennis with Death Note because you can just. <laughs> <laughs> tennis light and L. Tennis light and L. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, there's some good stuff coming up. It's way future in the future, so yeah, it's gonna be hard to pull for. Hopefully, for World Trigger, it is that arc that they did not. They invade the first invasion arc over the. Please the one God, yeah, I need I need Husei in this game so bad. Yeah, it'd be really cool he's to do that. He's my boy, one. and he's not in this game for stupid reasons. Yeah, <laughs> we need him. Um. And also, Naruto the Seven. What that is? Was that a manga? I thought that was a light novel, wasn't it? Um, Naruto the Seventh Hokage and the Scarlet Spring uh, is a spin-off manga written and illustrated by Masashi Kishimoto, set shortly after the Naruto series, focusing on Sarada Uchiha. So I guess we're gonna get Sarada. Okay. Which I don't give a shit about at all, but I guess that's who we're getting. I mean, again, no, no real general feelings towards this is, Barto. I'm sorry, this is funny as shit to me. Uh, Kishimoto claims that when writing this, he had extreme difficulty writing Sarada as he was inexperienced with portraying female characters. <laughs> you wrote Naruto for 40 years! 40 years? You wrote it you for wrote 40 Naruto years. for like 20 fucking years. What the fuck do you mean? <laughs> There are so many women in that shit, and they all suck. And, like, what do you mean you're inexperienced? Just say you're bad. Uh, he is very bad at it. Even he the wrote ones the I... fucking thing in 2015, dude. Naruto came out, like, 15 years before that, I think. Yeah, it was a very long time. It, it... Hang on, hang on. I need to fucking see this shit. Now you're just gonna start shitting on the seven... 1999! 16 years! Yeah, it's kind of he a wrote mess. Naruto for 16 fucking years. And then he was like, yeah, I've never really written a girl before. We have <laughs> never written a girl that did not in some way end with them kissing Naruto in some way. Kissing or wanting. Their, their first crush. Even soon enough. <laughs> Even so, Nadi does the not okay in these current times, like forehead kiss of Naruto. Actually, no, forehead kiss is fine, right? Yeah, forehead kiss is okay. Yeah. I assume Naruto being a pervert the second it happened, he's like, I feel like this is going someplace that I'm not prepared for, so I don't know where this is going to go, but sure, let's do it. But yeah, 16 years. Not, not really good at writing women, though. Mm hmm. I think that's well, fair. The thing to is, say. he didn't say he's not good at it. He says he's inexperienced at it. Oh no, he never had the experience. Before. Never, I've never done it. Yeah, you know, it's so hard when you have such amazing. Really, here, I don't want to actually start shitting on the women from Naruto because I actually really like a lot of them, like Anko and Tsunade and whatever the hell that woman who shoots lava out her mouth. I felt like which I like the way she shoots lava out her mouth. Oh, the Misakage. So, yeah. So there's plenty of women that I've liked him that he's designed, but their specific personality usually ends up being, well, Anko unfortunately went through her own hell of having her personality was having a mesh tank top, a very good mesh tank top. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, Sonade was being a drunk 
who was bad at gambling to becoming a Hokage who was usually drunk and bad at gambling. <laughs> so his yeah, woman... Sonate, Sonate's neat. I like her. I actually really do like Sonate. I like that uh, first arc with her as well. I feel like that's the closest he's, he's actually come to writing a, writing a female character that actually had something kind of going. It's like her and Grandma Chio, the two women. <laughs> Granny Chio. Yeah, because Granny Chio is also going through some stuff of like, listen, the war really fucked us over <laughs> in a lot of ways. And it feels fucked up because they also have their own ninja war. And then when the ninja war happens, it's kind of like... I don't suffer any meal bad consequences from this. <laughs> Nothing bad happens. Oh, well. <laughs> doop de doop de doo All good. But yeah, those are all the stuff coming up. So a lot of cool stuff coming from Japuti. We have definitely a lot of stuff to talk about. Of course, as we've seen here, no hint of uh, Jujutsu Kaisen, but that does not mean that it can't randomly show up at if some point. I, I'm getting so tired of waiting, bro. I'm fucking dying. I'm dying. Where is it? Where's Jujutsu Kaisen? Would it be bold of them to randomly release a Muso for the first character of a series and just release the... Just drop Gojo right then and there as a Muso? Yeah. I would be all about it! You would be all about them dropping this character that you in no way literally, were prepared for? Literally drop him anytime. I don't care, bro. I have good credit. I'll get loans. <laughs> <laughs> i think with that that is the end of three jams for this episode thank you very much everyone for joining us that's all we've got to talk about today it was a lot though i hope you enjoyed it i also hope that there wasn't too much weirdness when other people started drinking my house but hopefully that got fixed on my end <laughs> i didn't but, hear anything so okay good if the, you can't hear it chances are that they they couldn't hear it either so, till next time, everyone. You guys keep on playing that Jabuti jam, Jabuti jamming. Keep your Jabuti keep Jabuti jamming, jamming with Jabuti heroes. <laughs> and we'll see you guys the next time. See, see you guys. Bye bye. Bye everybody. <laughs>